Essentially, um, the vaccine teaches your immune system how to recognize that germ or that virus should it come into contact with it uh, again. So uh, once you get vaccinated and your immune response has uh, mounted, then if you were to uh, come into contact with COVID again, your immune system essentially remembers um, and is able to mount a response to that germ so that you don't become as sick or maybe not even sick at all. So I would say it's most important for people with underlying conditions. So if you have diabetes, if you have hypertension, which um, are very common things we see in our South Asian community, it's really important to get the vaccine because we know that people with underlying conditions or people that have diabetes, for example, when they get COVID, they do get sicker. So the vaccine is really important for people with underlying conditions like that. Um, the only condition or the only um, contraindication where I'd be careful with the vaccine is if you had had a significant uh, anaphylactic or allergic reaction to the COVID-19 uh, vaccine or its ingredients before. Otherwise, I would encourage um, all those with underlying conditions to get vaccinated because the risk is so much higher if you were to encounter COVID. Vaccine versus the risk of COVID. And we know already from people that have been vaccinated that the vaccines do work. That's why we're seeing a, a really nice drop in, in um, infections. So I think um, getting vaccinated is your first step towards um, ensuring your health and the health of your community. So it's important to do it for others as well. Um, you might think you're young and healthy, but it's important to do it, um, you know, for your grandma or your mom, who if they get COVID, they might not be as healthy. And uh, we do even see a lot of young people, unfortunately, um, in the hospital. So um, I would encourage everyone to get vaccinated and until it's safe um, in your province to continue to wear um, masks and frequent hand washing. Um, try to spend time uh, outdoors rather than indoors where possible. pregnant mums that get COVID-19 get really sick. So it's important for pregnant patients to also get the vaccine because it will again, reduce your risk of getting really sick and reduce that risk that also comes to your baby if you're really sick. So um, the CDC or Center for Disease Control does recommend um, vaccination for pregnant patients. Um, we are, uh, trials are currently underway regarding the safety of the um, vaccine in pregnant patients, but to date, um, there hasn't been any identified safety concerns for, for mothers or their babies that have received the COVID vaccine. The efficacy is an ongoing um, issue as new variants unfortunately pop up. So um, to date, I think the vaccine offers um, good protection against a lot of the variants out there. In terms of long-term risks, you're right, the vaccine hasn't been out for, for that long, um, so I don't have data on long-term risks, but um, I do have data on what it's like when you have COVID and how sick you can get and a lot of the long-term symptoms you can get from COVID. So what you need to do is weigh the risk of yourself getting COVID and potentially having long-term implications from getting COVID against the risk of um, potentially, you know, something uh, happening long-term from the vaccine. To date, there hasn't um, been any sort of um, safety issue in that uh, regard identified, but I agree it's new. It can be a little bit scary, but you have to um, this isn't a perfect situation. You have to weigh one risk against the other. And I think your risk of COVID and long-term complications from COVID is much higher than your risk from the vaccine.